On the previous episode, we have seen how can you create and manage databases directly from the Vapor UI. Yet, we haven't spoke about how can you connect to those databases from your local machine using a database management tool. So, for today's is example, I have created two databases. In the way that we are going to connect our local machine to those two databases will be different because one of them is public and the other one is private. Let's get started by connecting our local machine to the public database. Let's head over to our desktop and open our favorite database management tool. Now, for today's example, we are going to use Table Plus, but I expect your database management tool to have the same questions and fields when we are trying to add a new connection. And the first question is the engine, which is MySQL, and then you have this form that we have to fill. Now, the first question we get is the connection name, which we can just put my public database. Then, we just need to fill normally when using MySQL public databases the host, the user, and the password, as the default port should be already 3306. So the host, we need to grab it from the Vapor UI. So you just click, need to click on the database card, and then on the database details, you have the host. Let's copy paste it into the host field. Next, the user is always Vapor. So by default, the master user is Vapor. And of course, you can create your additional users if you want to. But by default, uh, the only user created in this database is Vapor. And then you can grab the password by clicking on Show Password on the Vapor UI. Then you can copy paste the content of the password and just put it here on the password field. And we can test this connection by clicking on test. And we got a green feedback, and that means that sure enough, we can connect ourselves to our public database. Now, the database that is created by default in the database instance, it's called Vapor. So you should open that database in order to see the database content. And as you can see, we already have migrated this database, yet we don't have any content at all. Now, to ensure some users would appear in this table, I have actually attached this database to an existing environment, and then I have created this route right here that just uh, creates a user on the database. So let's visit the vanity domain of this environment so we can actually see some users appearing on the database. So I just have visited the vanity domain and now we should see a user appearing on our database management tool. And sure enough, we can see a user being displayed in our database management tool. Now, so far, we have successfully connected our public database to our database management tool, but let's try now to connect our private database to our database management tool. And the rules are really the same. The only thing we need to do differently is when we create a new MySQL connection, you will need to select the option over SSH. Now, the connection name can be, again, anything you want. We are going to choose for now My Private Database. The host, you can grab it from the Vapor UI database details and just copy paste the host from the Vapor UI. The password, you can again copy paste it from the Vapor UI and the user is Vapor by default. Now, we also need the server, the user, and the password of our jump box. And a jump box, it's basically a very small server that Vapor places inside your private network so we can SSH into that small server 
to gain access to our private resources such as our private database. And to get started with Gemboxes, you need to add over to your Vapor UI, go to Resources Networks, click on the network where you wish to place your Gembox and also the network where your private database lives and then scroll all the way down until you find the button create gem box. Now you just need to give uh, a name to the gem box and in this case we are going to choose the my gem box name. Once you click on create, Vapor will give you the private SSH key of your gem box. And this key you should copy paste it into a safe place in your laptop. In my laptop, I'm gonna place this key just next to my other private keys. And now that we have done this, we can add over again to our table plus and finally add all the information concerning our jump box. Well, the private key will be the key we just have added and the server and the user, you will need to grab that information using the Vapor UI. Once you have filled those, you can test the connection by clicking on the test button and you can see that we have green feedback. So let's see if things are working as expected by clicking on connect and then choosing the Vapor database. And sure enough, I can see my database table, but uh, just like the public database, my private database doesn't have any users uh, at all. So we are going to use the test route we have created so we can have some users on our private database. So I have created this environment that uses our private database and we are going to click on a vanity domain a couple of times so we can create at least five users and then sure enough those five users appear on our table plus database management tool. And that's it about connecting to databases locally.